Hi guys, welcome to Tommy at Ubus Racing. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to build an 800 horsepower Volvo Red Block B213. I have some uh, time lapse of it that I'm going to show you. But first, I want to show you a little bit about this um, valve guides I'm manufacturing by myself for this actually for this engine. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that before we watch the time lapse of the engine block build. Here you are reaming, reaming in the machine, hard to see because all glass is full of water here, so I have to find a spot where the camera can look at the actual material. And then it's bored out and it's reamed, and now is uh, the parting off process. So this is one complete valve guide. This is the valve guys that the machine has uh, done so far and um, I'm always checking with the micrometer, micrometer if uh, we are in tolerance or not of this valve guide because it's, uh, it's very important that we have the right uh, outer diameter on the valve guides. So this is the engine assembled and uh, some short information about the parts in the engine. We got Y-scope pistons, we got heavy duty pins and we got uh, this generic H profile rods this, that everyone sells for this. But they actually measure good and holding up good in this kind of engine so no problem there. Uh, we got forged 86 mm stroke crank in this one. Maybe we should have should have this side up because this is what we are talking about right now. So we have this uh, 86 mm forged crank. This is a very good crank and it's actually kind of cheap as well. Working good in this power range because if you had this original crank uh, that's uh, actually a cast crank in this one they are uh, not that good uh, when you come up to power levels 
at 800 horsepower. And on this, this power levels that this engine has, I'm going to mount a girdle plate. When I, when I have time, I sell this. And actually, I have to show you something. I have to speak to you guys, because this is a new announcement on this uh, channel. I'm working to sell these girdle plates as a DXF file on a newly started webshop at my homepage. And the webshop isn't launched yet, so I'm working on it, but I'm going to sell uh, files, DXF files for girdle plate with all information that you need to to locally cut your own girdle plate. And I will sell some other drawings and uh, 3D print files for tools and stuff for these engines and other engines as well. So I think that's uh, the best thing I can do because I don't have time to make the girdle plates because I, I don't really earn any money on it. To, to crank out some girdles for you guys and uh, to, to make me happy that I don't have to make this for zero and nothing. So. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to sell the files for it. So you can make, make one locally. One, one thing in this engine, I actually ordered ARP bolts for, um, for cone rods because these cone rods uh, came with some no-name uh, bolts and uh, I, I actually don't want to run the no-name bolts. But, but in uh, in the main uh, bearing section, we, we run the usual, I'm going to show you. With, with the girdles, I'm running these regular 12.9 bolts with um, uh, a big washer on top. That's pretty fine because this original uh, bolt here is uh, 12.9 originally in these engines. And if you see at, see at the side here, you, you don't see any uh, turbo features on the block. No oil drain or return, no oil pressure out for turbo. Uh, that's because you actually don't need uh, to run the turbo block to get these power numbers, because these blocks are about the same as uh, the turbos. They, they don't have this uh, stuff machined out. I have also chosen to go with a little bit smaller dimension on the, the boring on this. Uh, usually we, we used uh, 96.5 mm pistons, but in this case we have 96.25 mm pistons because uh, the cylinder blocks is not the most happiest about these power levels. This is a fast uh, walkthrough of this uh, 800 horsepower build and uh, if you have some questions about it, uh, write a uh, question in the comments section. Until next time we see. Take care and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, I need to be better at cranking out some English stuff because I have a big English audience. So uh, this is for you guys and uh, hope it serves well. Bye bye. <laughs>